AI effects have been filling up my TikTok feed, and now it's coming into editing. So today I'm going to be using Filmora, an editing app with AI features, to test six different AI effects. Will AI be able to improve my editing, or is it all just hype? Let's find out. So if you want to remove the background of your video, your options are limited, but they're also quite time consuming. So this is the first AI tool we're going to go through, and it's a background removal tool. And I know we've all seen cutout tools before, but I feel like what makes this one better is that you can cut out things that aren't people as well. I started by getting some footage of me, and then I got some shots of the soccer ball moving to see how well it would cut out non-human objects. Then I brought it all into Filmora. Alright, so this is some of the AI tools, and it's this one here that we're looking for. So to use this tool, you just want to select your subject by painting over whatever you want to cut out, and then you hit start. And you go from this to this. I'd say that's pretty good for taking like 10 seconds. Now, Filmora recently released a lot of AI effects to bring some pretty crazy tools into one software. And the reason they did this is because they took a lot of inspiration from AI-topia. Let me explain. Oof. Oh, man. AI-topia is a editorial series by Dzine, and it explores the effects of AI on humans and how we can create art from it. Now, Filmora is the sponsor of this video, and they take a lot of inspiration from AI-topia, and that's why they added this tool to create AI art. Oosh, gosh. Ah, that's where we get to this tool on AI image generation. So if you come into Filmora and you select my media and AI image, you'll get this screen where you just type in whatever you want into the prompt box. And you get an image on the other side. So if we look up um, cute cat with a camera. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If you've been on TikTok recently, you may have seen this video. This video has gone absolutely gangbusters. And if you didn't know, this video is generated using AI based off a single image. In this case, it would be this one. Now, I looked into how to make these videos when stable diffusion videos were popping off, but it's, it's so complicated. And after a few weeks of trying, I just gave up. Until last week, when I realized that Filmora has an inbuilt version of this effect on their software. So I took a video of myself, and then I'm going to export that last frame, and then bring that into Filmora. There's a few options in the styling for this, and how you want it to morph, but for this effect, I really liked this one here. After selecting it, I waited for about 30 seconds, and this is the result. I finally did this effect. My life is complete now. One of the most annoying things about editing is when you run out of music. And you try to cut out music and like put it at the end and blend it all together and it just doesn't work. So this next AI effect I feel like is the most underrated of all the effects. So basically if you have some footage like I have here and you want your music to reach the end, you just select audio stretch and then expand the clip as much as you need and then boom. You're not going to have that problem again. Oh, and the music during this entire 30 second segment was extended from a 10 second segment. So, I'd say it works pretty well. A standard editing process when you're editing a video with talking is to cut out the pauses. So what this next AI tool does is do that automatically with one button. You just click this button here and then you select what is considered silent in your video. And then after a bit of processing, it just cuts out all the silences. Howdy. My name is Nick. Howdy. My name is Nick. So this one is less to do with the editing side and is more specific to creating content. You see, ChatGPT has obviously had a bit of an impact on idea generation, but Filmora has an inbuilt ChatGPT system and it's catered towards content stuff. So on the home page, you go to AI copywriting and then you just have these list of things that you can do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the video description of this video using the AI copywriting. So if we just select video description 
And then I'm just going to put the brief of what we're doing here. So professional editor tests AI features in Femora 12 and then generate. And we're probably going to take this one here. That one looks pretty good. So this video was sponsored by Filmora. If you're interested in trying some of the AI features on this program or just trying a new mobile editing software, click the link down below.